Bruins. Of the questions we get asked in the library, how to cite and use citation styles are some of the most common. To make things easy for you, we've created this series that breaks down each of the major components of the three citation styles used here at KCC. This video focuses on creating footnotes in Chicago style. The main thing that separates a research paper from another type of assignment is that you should be using sources throughout the paper to back up your statements. Each time you do this, you need to indicate that you're using someone else's work to avoid plagiarism. In Chicago style, you show this with the use of a footnote. Your first question is probably how to insert a footnote. It's actually a pretty simple process once you get the hang of it. If you're using Microsoft Word, go to the References tab at the top of the page, then click Insert Footnote. When using Google Docs, go to Insert and then Footnote. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl-Alt-F. As you enter footnotes, don't worry about changing the numbers. It will automatically adjust the numbers if you enter your footnotes out of order and continue correctly from page to page. So now you just need to include the footnote citation information. In a footnote, you include most of the information you would normally include in a references or works cited page. The idea here is to make it easy for a reader to check out your sources as they're reading. There's a really handy document for footnotes on the citation guide that I'm going to use to walk you through the footnote entries. If you want to access it yourself, look for the Chicago Footnotes document in the Library's Guide to Chicago box. For a book citation, we use the following order. The author's first and last name, the title of the book in italics, the publication information in parentheses, which includes the publisher location, publisher name, and publication date. Finally, we include the page number that the information came from. For a journal article, here's what we include. The author's first and last name, the title of the article in quotation marks, the title of the journal in italics, the volume and issue number with NO dot before the issue, the year of publication in parentheses, a colon, the page range of the article within the journal, and finally, the database where you found the article. You would then end again with the page number that the information came from, making it easy for your reader to find that information themselves. If you're using any primary documents in one of Dr. DeBruller's classes, they will also follow one of the above formats to make things simple for you. If you're not sure which one to use, check in with your instructor or with your course librarian. You'll also notice that if you're citing the same source more than once on the same page, after the first time, you can use a shortened footnote which only includes the author's last name, the title of the source, or a shortened title if it's a really long one, and the page number where the information came from. You'd use the full note once again the first time on a following page, then go back to the shortened version until you changed pages again. If you have any questions about footnotes in Chicago style or anything else related to library research, please contact your Morris librarians. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching.